Now let's welcome our speaker Shreyas. Shreyas is an applied scientist at Philip. So this was the like first learning where we saw we needed to kind of improve uh, our this coding pipeline and CI. Until now we were only uh, only like uh, traditionally testing a unit of code from uh, when we were using a traditional CI pipeline. But none of these kind of uh, code tests could cover your LLM functionality. Uh, of course, this field is ever changing, so there will be new methods. But this is like the basic science I wanted to give. First is the response quality. Uh, second, for I want to test for alignment, and the third aspect I'm measuring for this API is the performance cost. Um, so for uh, alignment, uh, so this output that you have, right? Uh, there are various LLM models, you could say small LLM models or you could say just language models that are already trained to detect uh, toxicity. Um, so what they'll do is they'll take your output response and uh, kind of they will tell you the toxicity scores. Um, so so the way to track this, uh, if you're using LangChain, most of the people will be using LangChain. You will have this uh, for, for, every, for every LLM call, you will get this usage metadata. Uh, even if not LangChain, in any kind of GPT call that you do, any Azure open endpoint, it gives you this user metadata. It gives you the input tokens and it gives you the output tokens and it gives you the to to total tokens. So, but to build your uh, pipeline for um, uh, for for yourself, you will need to keep a track of the cost also. 